Number 14 then from the 2007 Advanced Higher Maths, a differential equation. A differential equation that models some growth situation. It says you've got some young plants here whose growth is modelled by this equation. And we have some initial values here that will let you work out the value of the constant in that growth equation. And that's what indeed it says for the first part. Express G in terms of T and K. Well, there's no mention of T amongst the variables, so that'll separate quite readily. Take that numerator across, so I'll have 25k minus g, and you might as well leave that 1 25th with the dt, and then integrate both sides. So I'll integrate that side, might as well slide that in there, because 1 over 25 is just a constant. That is a logarithm. It's the logarithm of the lower part, 25k minus g. However, it's a linear term. It's got a negative coefficient there, so it will be the negative of that when you divide by that negative 1. And that side will just be 1 25th of t plus c. And usually it's just a case of how soon will I work out this value of c? Well, I'll let it absorb itself into the equations a bit and then work it out. Or I'll just work it out just now. I think I'll just put the values in just now and see what it comes to. So what have I got? That says the growth is zero at time zero. Another way it could have expressed that would have been g of zero equals zero. So that means I've got negative ln of 25k minus zero is just zero plus c. So c is going to be this thing. So I know that c is equal to negative ln 25k. So putting that back in, I've got negative ln, I oh know I could have got rid of that negative beforehand, minus g, but I'll do it just now, equals 1 25th of t, take away ln of 25k. And I can remove those negatives quite easily just by flipping all the signs. So I'll make that negative, and that'll be plus, and I can just put a wee plus there. Take that over so I can group the logarithms. I'll be subtracting that, and when you subtract the logarithms, you'll be dividing their argument. So I've got 25k minus g over 25k equals negative 1 25th of t. Get rid of the log now. Inverse the other side, exponential. So I've got 25k minus g over 25k. And this sign relief as the logarithm goes away, and I can take their coats off, equals e to the negative 1 25th t, which I think I'll just write as negative t upon 25. Now I've just got to extract g from in here, so I'll have to take that across and multiply. 25k minus g is 25k e to the negative t upon 25. So g is going to be, taking the g over, reading that back, 25k minus 25k e to the negative t upon 25. I'll just write over here because I'm not having enough room. So finally I've got g is, take that factor of 25k out, 25k times 1 minus e to the negative t upon 25. Or just to be annoying, maybe I will go through it again, letting c go through the various operations but keep reappearing as itself. So, get rid of that negative. So I've got ln of 25k minus g equals negative a 25th of t, but rather than writing minus c, which could be written as plus some other number, I just leave it as plus c. And then get rid of the log, 25k minus g will be e to the power, negative ne t upon 25 plus c. So 25k minus g will be e to the negative t upon 25. Now if you're adding powers, you could have been multiplying the e's, so it's times e to the power c. But times e to the power c is just some other number, which I again could call c. And now I could work out what c was using that. So now I could say, well, 25k minus 0 equals e to the power 0 is 1. So equals C. So I've got 25K minus G equals, and C is 25, 25K E to the negative T upon 25. So G will be, as before, take that over and take it across, 
25k minus 25k e to the negative t upon 25, which is 25k times 1 minus e to the negative t upon 25, as before. Just letting c take those values. There isn't any need to keep changing the names of them, because it's just a number that you haven't worked out yet. But what does it say in B? It grows 0.6 metres by the end of five years. T was in uh, years. Find the value of K. And of course you can, because that's the only unknown there for two marks. Find the value of K to three decimal places. That just means you put in this equation. So G was 0 0.6 metres equals 25k times 1 minus e to the, and it said t is 5, so it's negative 5 upon 25, <coughs> which means 25k will be 0 0.6 over 1 minus e to the 1 fifth. I'll not work it out yet, because you can just pop that all into the calculator, which means k is going to equal 0 0.6 over 25 times 1 minus e to the negative a fifth. Put that into your calculator, and you get 0 0.132399 and so on. So to three decimal places, it's 0 0.132. Part C. It states that the expected growth after 10 years is, should be round about 1 metre. Is this justified? Well, you've got two ways of doing that. You can either work out what you get when t is 10 and see if it comes to near enough a metre, or you could calculate t to give a growth of a metre and see if t comes to near enough 10. Well, working out t would be solving an equation, whereas working out the height would just be a piece of arithmetic. So I think I'll just go for the piece of arithmetic then. So what would the growth be after 10 years? It'll be 25 times, and we've got k here, 0 0.132, times 1 minus e to the, if they're saying that's 10, negative 10 upon 25. Now that's just something you just type straight into your calculator. And if you type that in, you get 1.0 eight, seven, nine, and so on metres. And then you have to ponder how close that is to one metre, because it is 8% off after all. But then again, if it says the expected growth is approximately a metre, it's not too far off. It would be better if it had been a smaller number or a much further number away from one. But I'll just have to say in this case is, which is approximately one metre so that the claim is justified. Now for part D, given that the initial height of the plants was 0.3, remember G was the growth, what's the likely long-term height? Well, if we just put down the formula, the height of the plant, after a certain time, would be its initial height plus its growth which of course depends on the time it took. It said the initial height of the plant was 0 0.3 metres, and the growth is given by this equation, so it'll be plus 25 times 0.132 times 1 minus, and I think I'll emphasise the fact that's a negative by putting 1 over e to the t upon 25. What's the long term? Well, the long term means as t tends to infinity, or at least becomes very big. So what would happen in the long term as t tended to infinity? Well, you would have 0.3 still. You would have this factor still, which I've still not worked out separately. But this part here would disappear. This part would go 1 take away 0, because as t goes to infinity, 1 over e to the t even over 1 over t to the 25, would tend to 0, because it's 1 over a larger, a number that becomes increasingly larger. So that fraction would eventually disappear. 
which means the long term position for this plant, depending on how rapidly it approaches this limit, would just be this part. So putting that into your calculator gives you 3.6 metres.